Hey everyone, it's Microwave Sam. How's it going? How do you install VirtualBox on Windows? First of all, VirtualBox is a program that allows you to boot up virtual machines containing different operating systems that you can simultaneously run with your current operating system. For example, I can have Windows 10 and run it with Ubuntu, and VirtualBox will handle Ubuntu as a virtual machine, and I can switch between the two operating systems while still running Windows. First of all, we're going to get VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a simple program to get and a simple program to install. So we'll go to this link and I'll leave that in the description. We'll download the version of VirtualBox depending on our operating system. I'm on a Windows right now. So I'll install the Windows version. I'll hit the blue link and download the 100 megabyte file. While this is downloading, I suggest and recommend you to find a second operating system to boot virtual machines from. So I'll do that right now. Before we actually get the Linux operating system or the secondary operating system, my download finished, so I'm going to install it by double clicking, clicking on executable. So installation setup comes up. It's fairly simple. You just hit next on the several prompts and you can leave all the settings by default. So if you just keep on hitting next until you finish, you can start installing VirtualBox. Now for me, VirtualBox installation takes a lot of power, so you might not want anything running in the background, but we can have downloads running in the background. So I'll do a quick Google search for my secondary operating system that I want to run simultaneously with Windows. I'm going to choose Arch Linux. Now Arch Linux is kind of difficult, and I'm just going to skip ahead to this download link. I'm going to click on the ISO and download it. I'd recommend if you're new to Linux distributions that you try Ubuntu or CentOS because they have GUIs, but Arch Linux is very bare bones. Now, once VirtualBox finishes, you can hit the new button and you can create these virtual machines. Think of virtual machines as just virtual computers running simultaneously on your operating system. I'm gonna select our details for our virtual machine, which are Linux and Arch Linux, and I'm going to give it a name, Arch Linux Video. I'm going to hit next. So on this page, you can select the amount of RAM that you want your virtual machine to use. And the virtual machine shares RAM with your current system. It gives you a recommended. I chose two gigs of RAM because I think that's reasonable for my 16 or I believe I have a 16 or 8 gig machine. And then for the hard drive itself, I chose to create a new virtual disk drive. Basically, your, uh, what VirtualBox does is it partitions your hard drive space. And I like to use fixed size because it's faster. And I give my virtual machine an amount of memory from my main hard drive. Like, for example, I'm going to give my virtual machine 100 gigabytes. So 100 gigabytes from my main hard drive. For example, I have a one terabyte hard drive. So 100 gigs from that is used on my virtual machine. Think of for my tutorials where I did dual booting, some memory I partitioned off my main hard drive uh, for the virtual machine. And then you just create the VDI. Creating the virtual disk image takes a really long time, like 20 minutes or so if you're creating a 100 gig partition like me. But basically after that's done, it creates this Arch Linux virtual machine with nothing on it. Now you need to go to the settings first of all and make some customizations. We're gonna hit storage. So if you go to the left tab named storage, we're going to click on this empty. Afterwards, we're gonna click on live CD and make sure that we click on that disk icon on the right. Afterwards, we're gonna find our disk image basically the ISO file that we downloaded, whatever it may be. For me, it's going to be Arch Linux. So I'm going to find Arch Linux, which is right over here, and open it, and you leave it like that. Now, secondly, you want to go down to the network left tab, go to adapter two, and we need to enable a network adapter called bridged adapter because we need to connect the internet from our machine to the virtual machine. So we're giving vir uh, internet access to the virtual machine. Afterwards, you can hit OK and then start. 
once you start, it's going to boot into the operating system ISO file. So basically, it's going to be the same setup as you normally do if you're doing a dual boot or reinstalling the whole OS. It might take a few seconds to initiate, but you just wait a little while and we're going to go walk through a little bit, just the thin layer of the beginning of Arch Linux setup. So once this virtual machine pops up, it basically creates a new window, right? It is virtual machines on VirtualBox are just the operating systems on this simultaneous machine and you can click inside this window and it's treated like a window so basically you have a window to another operating system so i just hit the install linux Ar arch linux and we're just gonna go through look at it and make sure that it's working and then we're gonna exit out so i'm just letting it do its business but basically if you had something like a Mac and you could install a Windows operating system so you can run Mac and Windows simultaneously the only difference the difference between dual booting and having virtual machines within VirtualBox is that in VirtualBox you share RAM you share memory well okay when you're dual booting you do technically partition memory the same way that you do virtual machines but the RAM and the cores are important because you're sharing your processing power from your CPU and also your RAM and that's the difference right so right now because I'm running Arch Linux I'm giving two gigabytes of RAM to this Arch Linux OS and also some of my CPU cores to this uh, virtual machine which is the downside to it but you can easily switch between the two. For example, I can interact anything within Arch Linux. For example, I'm going to write some couple commands, random commands to show you that it's actually working. And in the meanwhile, I can click on my windows and then do Windows stuff. So it's an easy way to switch between the two because if you have a dual boot, of course, you need to restart the computer. So you can quit. Um, the, you can shut off this virtual machine. And the final thing you do after, after you install it once. So same installation, right? After you install it, you can eject the ISO file, the setup file. For example, we go back into settings, go to storage. And we just unclick that, eject it, and hit OK so that it returns to empty. And that's basically it when it comes to installing a secondary operating system on VirtualBox. So thanks for watching everyone.